We're fucking live. Um, trying to fucking this fucking camera. shirtless today people got my tower 200 hooked up i was so fucking tired today that i fucking didn't bang the fucking shit out of danielle this morning fucking girl man she's a pain in my dick but she takes a lot out of me you know i'm not fucking 25 anymore people i'm fucking 52 even though i don't look it And anybody that says I look older, fuck you. Got the fucking Jay Garrick helmet in the fucking mail today. I, I love getting fucking superhero shit, man. Just, like, fucking Jay Garrick was the coolest flesh. Fuck Wally West, that little pussy. Fuck him. Jay Garrick was the original flash, bitches. Oh, fucker was my man. Well, I'll tell you though, man, those fucking Chinese, they can fucking make anything. I mean, I got this from fucking China. Look at that fucking, look at the fucking, the fucking detail on that shit. Like, you know, it's probably fucking lead paint based. But, you know, I ain't no little kid. I'm not gonna fucking eat it, you know. So I don't give a fuck. They're, they're talented motherfuckers, I'll tell you. Uh, you know, make anything today. You know. So yeah, I I was gonna go to uh, fucking sweat. I went to Iron Sport on Tuesday. Man, that place is fucking not the same, dude. I'll tell you. Uh, I heard fucking some news. I know Stephanie Heffany's out of there, but, you know. I always thought she'd be an Iron Sport lifer. You know? Guess the fuck not. But it was good to get down there and... You know, seen Randy Bakowitz. Trying to do them power to defeats. So glad I don't do that shit no more. I mean, my fucking God, like, like, really, like, fucking. I just train to fucking try to look good, you know, and that's why, like, I'm like, fuck it, man, I was so tired, and I, I was falling asleep in the fucking van driving over there, uh, but I was like, fuck it, you know, oh, I'm gonna push through, I can't push through, I'm tired, fuck, tomorrow I gotta take the truck into the shop, so it's like, fuck it, you know, I just didn't have the will to do it. I like these papers. I'm getting into these fucking raw papers. Because I can't roll, so it makes me feel like I'm a fucking... Like, because Danielle's like, you're a fake pothead, you're a fake pothead, fuck you. But when I roll the papers, it makes me feel like I'm fucking actually like a real pothead. Like, I, I don't care. I don't care if I am or I'm not. I, I, I'm, I'm me. Dumb bitch. Oh. When she's on all fours with her ass, she's got a great ass. 
When she's on all fours with her fucking fat ass in my face, you know? Like, that is the best. Like, just shutting her the fuck up. Oh, it's so great. And I don't go easy on her either. I ride that fucking ass. Like, 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 I'm like fucking, like Stevie Coulson, a jockey. I'm on, the, I'm on that fucking ass. I'm riding that shit, man. Riding it. I take out a lot of frustration. But, you know. So, yeah, I'm getting into these fucking raw papers, but, you know, they're cool. You know? This element's not, you know, this is just for show. Like, it's not cool to smoke out of, like, like the Iron Man helmet is. Mm -hmm. Today is my fucking whore ass wife's birthday. My whore ass ex wife's birthday. Let's give her a big fuck you on her birthday. You know? As I made the fucking. As the countdown begins, people. I got fucking. 12, 11. I got 10 more fucking payments. Ten more fucking payments, and I am so done with that bitch. Done with her. Oh, I can't wait. Like, next month, it'll be fucking single digits. It's like, oh my god, like fucking <coughs> hundred a month coming back to me. Oh, I can't wait. And don't you worry, honey. I got a nice big fucking cardboard box for you and fucking you back in the living. You know, when I get it, when I buy an ice machine, I'll fucking, I'll fucking uh, save the box for you too. So you can cozy up in there. But yeah. But that's fucking great, man. I just can't wait. But, you know, I was sitting on here yesterday. I don't know if anybody's seen my video or there were some fucking technical difficulties because my phone was, one, my fucking phone was, like, almost dead. And fucking Jerry Dottie's fucking internet sucks, you know? That's what I was getting into yesterday as this thing will not light no more. I was just fucking talking you up now you're making me look stupid. Come on, I can do stupid all by myself. I don't need you to help me. Just fucking let me get high. Thank you, baby. Like, my point was, my landlord's name is Jerry Dottie. I got this thing where I don't trust... I, I, you know, this is a Mike Barcelona rule of life. And, I mean, if you follow these fucking rules, you know, you'll fucking get ahead, maybe. Um, never trust a man with two first names. Like, uh, you know, um, uh, Perry Frank. Or, you know, Bill Thomas, you know what I mean? Like, there's something fucking weird about that, man. That's fucked up. Never trust a man with two first names. And don't, and run. Run from a motherfucker. Like, if you see a black man and his last name is White, like Bill White, ow. Get away from that fucking guy. You know he's fucking militant as fuck. I mean, you know, you know how much tease that motherfucker must have gotten in his life for for fucking God to give him a name of, you know, a, like a like a fucking, you know, African black man named White. Like, oh man, that's fucking that's fucked up. Well, 
or like a white man with like Tom Black, you know? He's not happy about that. So, you know, these are things that you have to, you, you gotta, you know, that's why I always ask somebody. I'll say to a guy, hey, hey, your name? You know, like a new customer, be fucking. If I'm going in a bar and it's owned by a black guy and he's telling me his name is Bill White, oh, fuck you, dude. I'm not renting you an ice machine. No fucking way. And if I see a guy named fucking Tom Black and he's white, I'm not fucking doing shit with you either. And if I see a guy named Jerry Dottie, even though I, I, he's my landlord, and now that's, that's peculiar. Evan Turney, my man. Evan, I want to ask you a question. Did you guys, did you sell Varga? Are you fucking out of there? Um, yeah, but don't ever trust a person. Like, you're cool because you got, like, sh Evan Tur Turney. Like, but if your name was, like, Evan Thomas, I wouldn't even fucking talk to you. You never trust a dude with two first names ever, or a black man with a white name, and or a white man with a black name as the last, that's a no-no. Also, you never trust a chick. Oh, what happened to the butcher place on 20th Street, Bo? Is that, oh, that's not yours. I gotta come in there, man. I, I know where Bud Marrow is. Right, that's in the, uh, that's right on 13th Street. Like, right right on 13th, and uh, I know where that is. That, that's where you're at, right? What about the fucking trough place, dude? How's that going? Now, I fucking saw you on, um, on, the, on, on like, Fox 29, you know? Uh, promoting it. By the way, dude, I'd love to fuck that chick. Alex Holly. oh, I would spread her open. Dude, how is that chick? Is she a cunt or is she cool? You know, now, now I have to have a trust issue there, too, because she's got two fucking first names, Alex Holly. <laughs> Can't trust her. Wow. That's fucked up, man. That's like, wow, that's like a fucking marriage. I know, dude. Is she cool or is she a fucking cunt? Like... If she meets Mike Barcelona, am I ringing the sex bell or what? You know? Boy, you and George, 17 years. Okay, that's what's up. Tell, tell her I'm into black chicks, dude, next time you meet her. I mean, you know, I would fucking definitely fucking like to taste some of that fucking Nubian princess. Really? She's always talking on, 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 online that she's like fucking single and all this other bullshit. So uh, let me ask you a question, Ev. Uh, who got the kids in the divorce between you and George? You know? Yeah. But listen, look, dude, you can't really fucking... Be upset about it, man. I mean, shit ends. It, 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 everything fucking ends. Oh, dude, did you fucking... I actually backed up into... Oh, my God. You fucking backed up into her fucking badge? Oh, dude. I'll tell you what. I'm going to tell you right now. If I see that chick on the street... And I, I want to ask her to take a picture, and I'm, I, I'm so fucking grabbing her ass. And I don't care. I don't give a shit. I mean, you know. Wow. She fucking, dude. Oh, that's, that's fucking great. What did she say? Did she say anything, or did she just try to play it off? And did you fucking get movement? Oh, I would have got, I would have got movement, man. I know it. I know it. I would have had movement, bro. Hey, uh, well, what else is she gonna do, man? Hey, 
Amen. As you should. As you fucking should. Wow, that's fucking. That's fucking. Wow, that's what's up. So you. So let, I'm trying to understand. So the trough places is yours or George's? Because you invite, invented the thing. I saw you fucking with Alex Holly, not fucking the pizza guy. You know, but don't feel bad. The pizza guy fucking kicked me to the curb, too. I mean, I, you know, I, I can't talk bad about Georgie. He's a good guy. You're a good guy. Uh, you know, I mean, I can't really say nothing bad about George. He came and, got, he came and see me in the hospital, man. I mean, he's a good dude. I mean, I don't know what, what, what happened. Oh, it's his place. But didn't you invent the dish, the trough? Wow. That's all right, man. It's all good. Dude, you know what? Having a place is a fucking headache anyway, dude. Trust me. Having a place is a fucking drag, dude. I mean, it, it, it ha I like own like I've been in my own business since '99. I fucking so hate it, dude. It sucks. Like everybody's up your ass. I mean, ah, oh, it's it just blows, man. And you can't really like push anything off to like, you know. You know, the only thing that's good about it is. The, the only thing that's really good about it is that I get young black strippers because they, uh, you know, they see me come in and, you know, I flash a couple bucks and they think I'm a big deal because I, I own my own business. And so, you know, then I fucking tell them, you know, I can get them in, you know, throwing away. So, oh, yeah, I can get you in fucking uh, Milan. It's sure, I know the owner. <laughs> so... They like that shit. So, but otherwise than that, man, fucking clock your cash. Go fucking home. I, dude, if I could be a nine to fiver, I would so fucking do it, man. Like, you kill yourself putting all these fucking extra hours in. And you know what? Fuck it. Go enjoy your wife and your kid. I don't even sweat it. But, oh, I would fucking... Yeah, you know? It's fucking the best, man. Like, you miss out on so fucking much. Like, my fucking... My son... Me and my daughter are, like, real tight. My son hates me. I mean, he's... You know what, though? Fuck him. I, I, I can't talk bad about him because he did bring me an Iron Man shirt back from Florida. But he's a dick, man. He's like his mom. He's just... He's a dick. Like, he's hard to fucking get along with, you know? It's not my fault. I mean, I had the worst fucking old man in the world. Like, Bozo Joe. Like, what a fucking douchebag of a father. I mean, I'm talking about a man that never did anything. Only anything he ever did was like for his own fucking pot, pot, his own game. Like he worked me like a fucking Mandingo slave when I was 16. Because he didn't want to hire somebody that cheap motherfucker. And um, I wound up learning the business. That's the only thing I, that's one of the bad things about these raw papers. You get some fucking weed in your mouth. That, no, I don't fucking dig that, but, yeah, he never fucking did a damn thing for me, you know? And fucking this kid, I do everything for him. My daughter's fucking doing great, but he's just a fucking dick, you know? But the time flies, you know? But, you know... You know, I'm telling you, you should enjoy that time now because, dude, once, when they're like, 
When they hit 15, 14, 15, dude, Suns. Oh, I love the Blackberry, baby. I love it. I love the Blackberry. I always did, man. Always did. My first wife was Puerto Rican. You know, it's her fucking birthday today, so fuck you. You know? Like, how great would it have been, would it be for her to smash her car into a head-on collision with Bozo Joe and the Evil Clown, and all three of them out. Oh, my God. But, yeah, when your kid gets older, man, like, my son, like, we started clashing when he hit, uh, like, 14. You know, really, like, around maybe, like, 11 or 12, you know. Yeah, I, I like the black pussy. Yeah, you, you know, I had this talk... Asian women don't do it for me. Like, unless they're, like, Asian mixed with, like, black. Um, or, or, like, Filipino. Like, a mixture. You know what I mean? Because they're very flat. And, 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 and you know, like, my, my cousin married a chick from Taiwan, you know? She's a very nice girl. Very intelligent. Um... And I love, yeah, see, Filipino, they're hot. But, like, I love to hear her talk because, yeah, see, I love the way I, she talks. Like, she'll say shit like, like, I'll make her talk, like, say stuff, just because, you're a brother, you're a brother, like, everything's with an R, like, it's just so fucking funny. Like, I can listen to her talk all night long, you know what I mean? Like, you know, she's just so funny. Um, you know, the way they try to pronounce the language, you know? But it's it's all good, man. Um, but yeah, Chinese chicks... Like, if I bang the Chinese... I, I would bang Lucy Liu. But, you know, Filipino chicks are fucking hot. Very hot, you know? But, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. So I wouldn't fucking worry about it. Fucking do your thing, bro. But, yeah, so, you know, your kid, when they get to be fucking, you know, my son started, like, they, they become mama's boys. Like, you know, and then I was closer with my daughter than I was with him. But, you know, the kid, he was, he's, like, not into anything we're into. So... You know, what do you want me to do? Like, what the fuck? I, you know? No, no, George kicked me to the curb, too. I don't do nothing for him. Um, I, You know, we're friendly. I mean, you know. But you know what, Ev? I'm, 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 uh, I'm just trying to get strictly into ice. And, I, you know, I can't fucking climb them roofs and all. You know, now I, I fired Chubby, the black guy. So now I got fucking, I'm trying to, you know, I got these two young guys in this. Albanian guy who, you know, and he's funny. He's, he's really not working out too good, but but I like the way he talks. Like, I think it's so funny when he's like, I am here. This is Jimmy. I'm like, I, I know who it is. You know what I mean? Like, you know, got to clean. You know, very funny. And the, like the Asian women, like my, my cousin's wife, you know, I try not to laugh at her face, but you know, she just can't pronounce certain words and all. And, you know, I try to fucking make her, like, I try to lead her back, Mandy's her name, to try to, you know, lead her back to say these certain words, because it's funny, I mean, you know, I, listen, I, you know, I don't care, I'm just trying to fucking, you know, enjoy myself, so, yeah, I mean, I don't do nothing for George anymore, but I'm, 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 you know, I'm doing all right, you know, but man, I'd like to meet that Alex Holly. Uh, and I, I do the fucking, I do fork right down the street there. I've never seen her on the street once, man. But I would like to. I would, I'm telling you, I would so grab her fucking ass. You know? What is she going to do? You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still go to the gym. I don't, I, I, I work out like a pussy now. Like, I don't do anything crazy. I just, like, I bought this thing in, it's in my house. I, I, I it's, a, it's like a, a cable thing and I go to sweat. Yeah, now I go in the morning, you know, I just, just trying to fucking stay in shape, you know, <clears throat> and good therapy, but, you know, 
you know, trying to bang the young chicks, uh, you know, just doing my thing, brother. You know, but, uh, how is that place doing? Have, uh, uh, the meat market. Is he doing anything over there? But, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So you can't never, back to my original point, you can't trust a chick that has a fruit as a last name, like, like, Patty Peach. That was my, one of my therapist's name. Her name was Patty Peach. And this fucking bitch, like, took my money for years, dude. Like, and it was always like, you know, oh, you know, I think you're fucked up because your parents, and we need to go back when you were, like, eight. I don't want to go back when I'm eight, bitch. Like, really? I know. I lived with Bozo Joe and the Clown. I know. I, I, well, I know the abuse. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, the evil clown, Jerry Wise, the evil clown, if she was Hitler's, like, right-hand man, we would all be speaking German today because we would have lost the war. That fucking bitch, oh, my whole life, dude, just getting interrogated by her. And so, and what did you do? And what if this? And what about that? And with it, oh, oh my God, I hear that voice. That voice in my fucking head is, it, I can never get rid of it. Never, never. There are some nights, dude, when I wake up and I want to fucking just, just puncture my fucking eardrums to hopefully stop that fucking voice. So, Patty Peach, you fucking cunt. I know, all right? Bozo Joe was, was, you know, what he would do is, like, if you were watching something, like, whatever the fuck you were watching, at, right at the fucking best moment of the show, the motherfucker would change it. That's what the fuck he would do. Like, uh, I remember us as kids watching, the, we were down the shore with my cousins reading them, and we were watching Nixon's, uh, Nixon's fucking, uh, when he, when he was getting impeached, his, his resignation, fucking Bozo Joe's changing, <laughs> changing the fucking channel. Like, what a douchebag. Like, like you, you like try watching fucking Jeopardy with that fucking asshole. You, you don't even do, you're watching Jeopardy, and, uh, you know, like, he, he changed the fucking channel. Like, right when the answer was supposed to come. Like, like what a fucking asshole. And then the constant arguing and, and physical fighting that when they fought and, Oh my God, it was such a fucking loony bin. I, you know, what do you, why you, yes, Patty Peach, that's why I'm fucked up. I know, I fucking know. Listen, I can be a fucking spy. You, you, listen, you can interrogate me. You can send me to Iraq, like, or any one of these countries. They can try to cut my head off with a rusty knife. I won't give any information. Never. I have been so interrogated by the clown. You can, I don't care what you can do. You can waterboard me. You can pry my fingernails up. You could file my teeth down. You could stick a pole up my ass. I, I don't care what you do. You will never get any information out of me. That's how fucking the clown was so... Oh, the way she drilled you and drilled you. And then, you know, we'd go a different direction and a different direction and a different direction and a different direction to try to get information out of you. And, you know, then you would, like, fucking, just to get away from her, you would go into the fucking, because she always sat in the kitchen. Then you would go into the fucking, into the fucking um, living room. Uh, and, and, and there's Bozo Joe fucking flicking the channel onto something else, you know? I, like, like, what a douchebag. Like, what a douche, you know? Like, what a douche. Like, you know, and then, then, this is how fucking cheap the motherfucker it was. I don't know if you remember when, like, the illegal cable boxes came out, and maybe a little before your time, but they had these illegal cable boxes, and, uh, you know, if you didn't buy it, the guy wanted, like, I think he wanted, like, 
50 bucks for the box, but this is, I'm, I mean, I'm going fucking back, like 20 years. No, probably, maybe even further back than that. Maybe 25 years. Yeah, so if you didn't, if you didn't buy the, the, the box, they had those like two, those two fucking soft porn channels on cable. I forget what they were called, but they had those two soft porn channels on. So Bozo Joe was so fucking cheap to not, like, he wouldn't buy the illegal box for 50 and he wasn't going to fucking add those channels, which were probably like a dollar back in the day. So what does Bozo Joe do? He would, like, like, like we would do it when we were kids. Like, when they would go out, you would flick the channel, and it would be super scrambled, like, and then all of a sudden, you'd see, like, a, a fucking titty, and then, you know, it would flash off again, and then you would see some chick sucking some dude's dick, or, you know, like, every once in a while. Yo, I, I shit you not. I shit you not. I would come down that, down the downstairs to, like, get something to drink or something in the middle of the night, because I was a fucking high school kid, and and Bozo Joe would be sitting on the couch trying, trying, trying to jerk off to the little titty that he would see every fucking, every fucking, like, 20 seconds or some shit. Like, what a cheap motherfucker. I remember telling him, I was like, Jesus Christ, man, why don't you just fucking subscribe to the channel? And he would, like, try to flick off real quick. But meanwhile, you got your dick in your hand, you fucking... Loser. Oh, what a fucking... Oh, my... I just... Okay. What a family life, dude. It was fucking... You know, come on. I mean, it was fucking terrible. Terrible. Couldn't get any worse. They were the worst fucking parents in the world. But yeah, oh, the clown could fuck him. Oh my God. She could get information out of fucking, like, and, and, and then, like, God, she was so good. If she didn't get the information that she wanted, she would make up her own fucking story. And she would be like, night, brother. Yeah, she would fucking, like, make up a story like, oh, I know why you're not telling me that. You're not telling me that because, because, because I know I'm right. Ain't I right, Joe? Bozo! Bozo! Am I right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jer. Yeah, Jer. You're right. Yeah, Jerry Wise. You're right. You're right. You see? And it just was the fucking, oh, my God. Oh, what a fucking, a, 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 a fucking sour existence it was. So, yes, I know why I'm fucked up. I, I understand this. You know? But, you know, that was my point. Never trust a chick with a fruit as a last name. Cannot do it. You know? Now, a man with a, a man's first name and a woman's last name, Jerry Dottie, back to my original point, <clears throat> can't trust him. You know? Like, you know, like, like if your name was fucking, you know, like, Tony Dick, <laughs> you know? Hey, Dick! <laughs> Hey, Dick! You know, I mean, like, you would get, which, which brings me to the funniest name story of all time. The fucking, and I, I can't, I'm trying to hold it. The greatest name, I went to school with a kid. His name was Mark Larry. And I, I talked about this yesterday. His name was Mark Larry. And the father's name was Larry Larry. Like, Larry Larry. And they tried to char church it up by saying their last name was Laurie. I said, no, you're not Larry Laurie. <laughs> you're Larry Laurie. That, that actually sounds worse if you think about it. Like, 
Mr. Larry Lo <laughs> Mr. Larry Laurie, you know? No, that's even worse. And it's still a male and a female last name if you go Lori. So he said, <laughs> he's still fucked. I just thought about that. You know, if you try to trans trans change the pronunciation to Lori, he still, it's still due for names, it's Larry Lori. You know what I mean? So, you know, they were just fucking nutty people, man. Like, you know, and so he, he just, you know, so then he went from like, you know, Larry Laurie to like Augustine. He called, started calling himself Augustine. I remember one time, you know, like the guy was just so odd, man. Like he would go down, like he was a hunter. So he had all these like press machines to make bullets and shit. And I mean, I remember we like, like <laughs> one time, you know, <laughs> I, was, I, I was being a smart ass, you know? And I was like, hello, Mr. Larry Larry, you know? <clears throat> and, oh, <clears throat> he, he fucking had to be in like eighth grade, eighth or ninth. I think it was eighth grade, yeah. Eighth or ninth grade. It was probably ninth or ninth grade, because that's when I started to be a smart ass. So it was probably around ninth, ninth or tenth grade, and I said, I used to always go in there and say, "Hello, Mr. Larry Larry," when I seen him, you know. And then sometimes I'd say, "Hello, Mr. Larry Lori," you know, like just just to bust his fucking balls because he was such a fucking tight ass, fucking winded spring ass motherfucker, you know what I mean? And um, I remember going in there one time and saying. Hey, Mr. Larry Larry, you know, and he looked at me like he wanted to fucking gut me the way, you know, you would gut a deer in fucking, uh, you know, as a, as a hunter, you know, which, which again, I have no respect for them because I say it like this, uh, you know what, Mr. Larry Larry or Larry Laurie or, you know, whatever the fuck you want to call yourself. You know what? Why don't you go in the fucking woods like a fucking man and square up with that motherfucker? <clears throat> Mano a Dero. Okay? Mano a Dero. If you're so bad, you know, fight the fucking deer on his terms. You know? Don't fucking, you know, you got a fucking rifle, you pussy. You know, it's the same thing with these people that hunt bears. Oh, I, oh look, I killed a bear. Yeah, you, what's so fucking great about that? I could kill a bear too if I had a fucking shotgun. <laughs> you know, what the fuck? You know, makes me laugh. Where's the sport at? You know? Sport. I mean, it's just, you know, like, 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 like the bullfighters. You know, these fucking... Pussy ass Spanish Spaniards who I have no respect for. They're out there fucking. Uh, ole, ole, ole. Yeah, well, don't fucking stab the shit out of the bull and drug it before you fight it, you fucking pussy. And what'll happen? The bull will fucking have you for breakfast and lunch. But so, so, so you know, bullfighting, pussy sport, hunting, pussy sport. If you want to call it, you know, golf, pussy sport. I don't care. You got to walk with your back, pussy sport. If you drive a car while you're playing anything, pussy sport. Um, I used to think soccer was a pussy sport until my daughter started playing. And I'm not saying this because she started playing, but, but I started to notice that, you know, the, the guys and the girls, it's, they're, they're fucking physical, man. They're rough. I got respect for soccer. Soccer, soccer people, players are in very good fucking shape. And I mean, some of the chicks on that fucking, on the fucking U.S. team, like that fucking, uh, uh, oh, what the fuck was her name? Oh. Ah, she was a cute little, Meg. I forget her name. But, uh, I don't know her name. Uh, Hope Solo, I would, oh, I would have, you know, I'd fuck the shit out of Hope Solo, 
But I'll tell you what, I'm, Hope Solo, if anybody saw the when the big scandal came out about uh, nude pictures, you know, Hope Solo was a fucking beauty queen, man. But that pussy, Stormy Shizai! That pussy, it looked like a fucking Tony Stark fucking rocket, like, went into that fucking pussy and just exploded. Like, that pussy was destroyed. I mean, and, like, and she's fucking sending these pictures across the fucking internet. Like, dude, you gotta come over here and smoke, man. I'm fucking smoking right now, dude. But yeah, she's sending these pictures across the internet. Oh my God, do you, do you, am, am I lying? And, 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 and the asshole looked just as bad as the fucking vag. Like, she was fucking terrible. Terrible. I mean, she had a nice ass, but oh my God. But I would bang that fucking chick with the big nose, uh, Carly Lloyd. I bet you I would fucking, I'd bend that fucking bitch over. I'd fuck her. But yeah, Hope Solo, but oh, I forget the chick. There's a, you gotta come over here, man. I'm, I'm fucking in the command post, brother. I sport my new Jay Garrick fucking flash helmet. I might, I might fucking go into the Speed Force tonight. You know? I'll go back in time and fucking... I'm trying to think, who, who the fuck would I fuck if I went back in time? Mm, that's a great question. Who would I fuck? I, I had a big crush on Farrah Fawcett when I was a kid. Farrah Fawcett majors, man. The red poat, the red bikini, you know, Charlie's Angels. But then when I got older, man, and I, I finally, she did a movie called, uh, some fucking stupid sci-fi movie. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, oh I, I know who you're talking about. Oh, uh, Linda Carter. Yeah, I'd fuck Linda Carter in the Wonder Woman outfit. Yes, yes, yes. I would fucking bang. Uh, I'm trying to think. Like, oh. But, like, yeah, so Farrah Fawcett made that, that stupid sci-fi movie. And her nipples were, like, fucking out to here. It was, oh, it was such a turn-off. Never wanted that again. Um, I would have did Kate, Kate, uh, no, not Kate Jacks. Jacqueline Smith. Jacqueline Smith, the other angel, was fucking hot. Or Cheryl Ladd. I had a couple fucking sports players I would fucking bang. You know? I'll tell you who I'd fuck. I would have fucked that chick from, from Buck Rogers. Aaron Gray, the fucking... Buck Rogers is fucking, that's probably before your time, Stormy Shizai. But Aaron Gray was a fucking piece of ass, man. And them tight fucking spandex pants. Oh, what a piece of ass. I'll tell you what. <clears throat> and in honor of wearing my Jay Garrick Speed Forge hat. <clears throat> I would go back in time and fuck my ex-wife's mama so that I could be her papa and fucking torture her the way Bozo Joe and Jerry Wise the Clown tortured me. I just figured it the fuck out. I just figured it out. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would do, Stormy. I would, oh, wait a second now. This opens a whole new can of, this, wait, wait. Wait for it. This opens a new can of fucking paint. Because what if I went back in time and, like, killed the clown and, like, if I killed the clown... I would I wouldn't be born. So, so, so I could so could I kill the clown or not kill the clown? 
or Bozo Gel? <clears throat> That's the question. That is a great question, because if I killed Bozo Gel, then, then he would fucking... Yeah, but wait a second now, Stormy. This is why where we get into the butterfly effect. If I banged my bitch-ass ex-wife's... If I banged my bitch-ass ex-wife's mama and was her mother or her father, I wouldn't have my kids because then it would be incest. Yeah, I would have to kill... Yeah, but if I killed the clown as a teen, would I be born? Because she would never conceive. That's the question. And then if I killed... Oh, shit. If I killed... If I killed... If I banged my ex-wife's mother, then <clears throat> I would be her father, but then I wouldn't have my kids. <clears throat> Which brings me to this conclusion. Would that be so fucking bad, Stormy? They're fucking killing me. They're milking me crazy. I'm paying all their bills. They're fucking in college. Oh my God, if I never had them. I took them fucking little bastards to Disney 10 fucking times. At 4,000 a fucking pop. That's 40 grand. Oh, like, I'd have, dude, I'd have 40 grand. Oh, my God. Right, like, right now, they're killing me with the college and the cars and everything. Oh, if I didn't have them, oh, my God. I'd, I'd fucking, oh, my God. I can only imagine, you know, oh, the fun, the fun. Yeah, they're happy, but I'm not happy. If I never had them, look at all the money I'd have. You know? Oh, man. And then I probably would have never ended up in Philly and never met Danielle, that fucking wacko. Oh, my God. That's what I, I would just... I would go back in time. And I think you're right, Stormy Shots. I would fucking... Kill the clown. Wait a second. How can I pull it off? Okay. So. I got it. I got it. If I fucking am born and wait till I'm like fucking eight years old, I'd have to... I'd have to endure the fucking torture till I was like eight. Because Bozo used to make me, uh, like he, he would do car mechanic work on the street. And like he'd make me sit there and get him, give him, give him the tools while he was like doing brake jobs and shit in the street. I, I, I mean, I really hated this man uh, my whole life. And um, so he would have the cars on them little fucking shitty car bumper jacks. You know what I mean? So, I mean, like, if I'm eight years old, I can probably fucking somehow fucking hit the jack. Boom! Car goes down, Bozo Joe. Gone ski! Uh, which means my sister, that fucking cunt, Jenny from the block, race her out. Whip! Gone. Gone, 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 gone. <clears throat> She'd be gone. You know? She would be gone. So now there's no no Jenny from the block. Uh, hmm. So now we got to get rid of the clown and Bozo Jr. So. The clown would be very hard to kill. She's tough. She's very smart. She's been on this earth for many years. She knows. She wouldn't, she won't, she won't be easy. Bozo Joe Jr. I would have to frame Bozo Joe Jr. into somehow killing the clown or weakening the clown enough 
so I could have someone finish the job. This is all allegedly. Allegedly, I want to say. This is allegedly. I'm not, I'm not saying any of this is ever going to happen. It's allegedly. Allegedly. You know? But yeah, that's what I would do. I would fucking, yeah, kill the clown. You know? It's kind of like now, like, I've been playing chess. I'm really getting into chess. And, um, you know... I don't think killing her as a teen, I probably wouldn't be born. And if I didn't, it's like if you're here and the other, sometimes you got to sacrifice your queen to take, you know, to give up, to get the other person's queen to just cancel it out. So, you know what, dude? I would be fucking okay with finishing off the clown, killing her as a teen, and just fucking. Giving the double finger and like and like evaporating like like they did in uh, Avengers in Infinity War, you know. I would just be gone and and then I would be all right because it would be a cancel out. So yeah, I'm cool with that. No problem. So yeah, I would do that. I'd kill the clown. You know, I'd go back in time and 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 finish off the clown. You know. That would be the move. And then just evaporate. Like, like I wouldn't go out like like no pussy like Spider Man did. Like I you know, like, oh Mr. Stark. Dude. Like, come on, man. Like, don't be such a pussy. I fucking died twice. They wheeled my ass down to the fucking room. All right. Fucking, you know, there's like a 5% chance you might not make it. All right. Well, fucking, uh, let's do it. You know, what the fuck? I died twice. They brought me back. Which poses me to the question, to Stormy Shots, if he's still listening, or anybody else out there. If you take have an operation, and they tell you, like my operation, there was like a, I think it might have been like, it might have been a little higher than 5%. It was like, yeah, it, I think it was. I think there was like 20% or maybe... 30% chance I wouldn't make it. Um, which poses the question. Um, you get $10,000 right now handed to you. Or you play Russian roulette. You take this fucking gun and there's a 30% chance you can blow your fucking head off. But... This is why Mikey B can be the greatest game show host ever. When, if the gun goes off and you shoot yourself, you do not die. You become paralyzed. Much the same way Christopher Reeve was. We had to ride around with that fucking straw in your mouth. That's how you fucking gotta live. The rest of your days. 30% chance that when you pick up that gun, bang! You're Christopher Reeve after he rode the, and fell off the horse. Which again was, like I said earlier, pussy sports, uh, golf, um, what else did I say was a pussy sport? I said golf was a pussy sport because they drive cars. I said, oh, hunting a pussy sport. I mean, come on. The fuck is so, so, so fucking, you, and like I said, I just shoot somebody with a fucking gun. Pussy sport. Golf. Pussy sport. Uh, fishing. Don't even, if they put sport fishing, 
That is an ocelot out and out fucking joke. I mean, come on. You know, bowling is a pussy sport. Uh, I forget what the other one I said was a pussy sport. I know I said hunters, hunting was a pussy sport. Not even a sport, but, you know. I don't remember what the other one was. It'll come to me. But, yeah, bowling, bowling, I think bowling's a pussy sport. You know. Um, yeah, so, you know. I definitely think that's a pussy sport. So, yeah, um, I would take that 30% chance that you fucking become mean, but that's, that was, I was going to say, that's another pussy sport, that fucking horse riding shit, pussy sport, pussy sport, you know, like, the fucking horse decides to stop, man, if I was Christopher Reeve, and I'm, look, I'm an animal lover, Never let it be said. Mike Barcelona is an animal lover. I'm about to go tomorrow and pick up a beta fish because um, that's the pet. I think that is a pet with the most minimalist. Like if anybody was tuning in about the most minimalist amount of care for an animal, I think. The prey mantis was too much. You know, you had to have fucking live crickets and, and fucking... I'm feeding crickets. Get the fuck out. Prey mantis, big fuck you to you. Um, then I went to the ants. The ants, big fuck you to you. Um, they're, they're, they eat each other. They're fucking crummy. Like, if I look at that tank, it's disgusting. Uh, you know, it's like the March of Death over there. There's like fucking two left, and I can't wait till they drop dead because I'm done. They ain't, they're very dirty. They eat themselves. Like, who the fuck would have thought that? I, I thought that, like, they're friendly. Like, if we were ants, what do you just fucking kill each other whenever you want? Like, oh, it's supposed to be, oh, look at the ant farm. And, you know, you can see how a working colony fucking works. Fuck you, working colony. Bastards are fucking killing each other. So yeah, I am an animal lover. And I only have a minute and 47 seconds left before I'm out. Uh, I will load this onto my YouTube page. Anybody that's checking in, follow me on YouTube. Because my YouTube channel is going to blow the fuck up. Okay? So, catch these Mikey B rants over there. But just to say, if I was Christopher Reeve, didn't have control of his of his of his bitch, his pimp hand was weak. I would have beat the fucking living shit out of that horse. Before, go, go ahead, motherfucker. Go, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Stop. Stop. One more time. Stop. I beat the shit out of that motherfucker. Christopher Reeves, Pimp Hand was weak. That's why I got hurt. And on that, I only got 47 seconds left, so I'm Audi. I'm heading back to Speed Force to wipe out fucking Jerry Wise and my fucking ex. Is, uh, is my, uh, uh, allegedly, 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 allegedly.